Hey fellow tennis nerds, today I'm in my office doing a bit of a blog format. I want to talk about strings and I want to talk a bit about why so many players use stiff polyester strings when they might not really need to. Uh, you have a shorter swing perhaps, you are have some elbow issues, wrist pain and uh, you're perhaps an NTRP 3, 3.5 up to 4 and you're still using a stiff full bed of polyester string, perhaps you're using a, a pure arrow, pure drive, Wilson burn, head extreme, one of those stiff thick beamed rackets and uh, you're using a stiff polyester string strung above 55 pounds or so in tension which is 25 kilos and you're stringing it that way because you are uh, you want to retain some control and the issue there is that you're gonna have a lot of rapid vibration shooting down to your elbow wrist and so on and you might risk getting injured for a more for a long term and uh, you can't then play tennis so my recommendation is definitely to take a long hard look at yourself and consider your own level how hard you hit the ball do you really break strings do you make the strings move enough and bend enough uh, that you need to use a polyester string perhaps you can go to a softer polyester string such as Solingo Torbite Soft, Vulcan Cyclone Tour there are a lot of good softer polyesters and these days and there's a lot more happening in that and that category you're seeing strings that are kind of landing in between like Luxlon Smart and you have also good multi-filament strings why not use that this is my favorite head velocity MLT really nice string my hitting partner Mike uses it in a full bed in his Vulcan uh, V engine and uh, he's playing hitting some good tennis shots with that so if that works up until a 4.5 level or, or even higher than that why can't many more players use that you don't need to use a really stiff poly if you're not breaking strings if you're not pushing the string enough so that's just my main recommendation there are a lot of nice softer strings on the market as i said and if you have the wallet for it why not try a natural gut really nice playing field the best tension maintenance in the business and uh, so there's a lot of reasons why you can use a uh, natural gut and you can definitely use it in a hybrid with another poly string i would recommend you to put it in the mains of the racket so you get more of the characteristic of the uh, nicer string this, in this case natural gut but there's there are even pro players using natural gut in a full bed at least on the wta tour so why not um whatever works for you really you can also try going down in gauge we have this Luxon Olo Power 1.15 a little bit uh, thinner gauge will be a bit more gentle on your arm so that's also something you have to keep in mind if you're using a really thick gauge it's very durable but you won't uh, it's also gonna feel a bit more board like and be stiffer for your arm so all these things is something you have to take into consideration if you really consider what your level is what your playing style what you need as a player perhaps you can use a softer frame with a softer string and still be able to control the ball we're also seeing uh, these hybrid strings like the smart i mentioned there's also a good one here if we look at the pile of strings uh, here we have string project magic it's a a really nice string from a smaller brand in italy uh, creates kind of a multi-filament hybrid poly string so it's somewhere in between uh, so quite soft still spin friendly when the polys were introduced Luxlon uh, introduced them in in the early 90s 94 I think it was released all the power and in 97 uh, Gustavo Querten won the French Open with uh, the Luxlon all the power big banger and that kind of ushered in a whole new era where you could hit as hard as you wanted and still with top spin get the ball to dive in and some players said it's almost like cheating and 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 uh, compared to playing with a full bed of natural gut like most other players did before this was a completely different ball game and then the tennis has been evolving over the years and now very few players actually use uh, synthetic gut and uh, natural gut strings in a full bed on tour but many many pros Murray Djokovic Federer they use it in a hybrid so you can definitely go for a hybrid as well put a softer string in the mains put the pole in the crosses you're gonna have more comfort it's gonna be a nice hitting experience and you're still gonna get some good spin and durability from the string bed so don't 
look too much at what Rafa Nadal is using when he's hitting these whopping forehands and uh, when he's using a pure arrow, 55 pounds or 25 kilos string tension uh, with a motorbike outside. And um, don't, don't look too much at that. Consider what, what you are as a player and who you are and, and if you're breaking strings or making strings move and if not, why not choose a softer string setup, save your arm and get more feel and enjoyment out of your tennis. That's my main recommendation. I really hope you take that to heart. Uh, if you're breaking out of strings and you're, uh, you're hitting very hard, Luxlum 4G um, MSV Focus Hex, it's a reel down here for example, which is a very good budget string if you're a string breaker. And um, strings like Solinko Torbite or Solinko Confidential, they will, they will be very good options. But for players who are not hitting that hard, you can definitely go, go softer, which is my, my main takeaway from this video. And um, yes, you might get a little bit less durability. You might need to string it a, little, a tad higher, but it's still going to be much better for your arm and your game in general, in my opinion. Well, that's a little bit of that kind of blog style setup. Uh, I hope you like it. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. You can also, uh, we can also look at rackets, customization, matching and other things. And I'm keen to hear what you're most interested in. Reviews will resume hopefully soon. Today was the first day at my regular tennis court here in Malta. And that uh, was very nice feeling to be able to hit some balls again after a period of uh, a few weeks without. We've been pretty lucky here when it comes to the COVID situation, but the tennis courts have still been closed for a number of weeks. So really nice to be back. I hope you're back soon. And if not, stay strong. I know it sucks, but uh, we just gotta, gotta hope that all the courts around open soon and that we get out of this mess. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you need help choosing a string for you, uh, check out the consultation service and Tennis Nerd shop and if you want more content like this, this kind of vlog style with footage matching, customization and stuff, you should check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash tennis nerd, where you'll find a lot more videos and other content. That's it. Have a nice weekend guys. Take care and talk soon.